talked about the ether, and this is really cool. So this book right here, this if you see that, it says ether right here. And I always talk about in the 1920s, after the Rockefellers completely took over the educational system, the ether was removed. So I always talk about finding books from before the 1920s when the ether, the fifth element or spirit, chi, prana, orgone, still existed. And this is because when you have bankers and oil tycoons owning the educational system, then what happens is the ether begins to vanish. And let me just show you a little date on this book just for you guys to see, because this is really interesting. Here you go. I'm gonna just kind of zoom in right there. That says 1919. Like I said, when you find books before the 1920s, you see a very different narrative there. But as the Rockefellers, the Morgans, the Rothschilds took over the educational system, books like this began to vanish. Because what it does is it makes people start to understand that we can tap in to the fifth element with a lightning rod and, and a weather vane, atmospheric energy, Herman Clausen, Nathan V. Stubblefield, Tesla, all these people. It makes you think about something different and it breaks the narrative. But that's why you don't learn about it. It's all woo woo, you know, we've talked about that before, woo woo. That's what it is because they want you to be deterred from learning about it.